Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and this is a large wooden wheel that we made that is on a treadmill motor. I'm using it as a bearing. The treadmill motor can hook up and be powered by the bike or a 12 volt battery or 24 volt battery. What you're looking at is water inside of a pan with a black coating on the inside making a parabolic shape. I did the black coating because the silver uh, would distract the effect. In previous videos I mentioned that gloss black is a better backer for mirrored film. It causes a better reflection. You can see how good the reflection is coming off of this. This is clear water. Whenever gloss black, anything with a, a gloss surface at an angle produces a much better reflective property. This is just regular water. You can see that I disturbed the current and it takes a little bit a little bit of time to reset. Once it resets, the water locks in perfectly. If you put an object in there, that object will, the water will just lock around it. This is one way that parabolic mirrors are made. Very large mirrors for telescopes use borosilicate glass or different types of quartz and they will melt it and slowly turn it. This allows a perfect parabola to form. Then the uh, glass is allowed to cool slowly and the parabolic shapes locked into place. You can use resins to do this. In future videos I'm going to be experimenting with that. There's a certain way the resin has to cure evenly, but it makes a very nice parabolic shape. There we go, that's nice. The faster it goes, the higher the water goes up on the edge and the deeper your parabolic shape is. And that shortens your focal length. If you let it go real slow, you can get a very, very, very shallow, perfect parabola. Or something that you can't pull with acrylic because the acrylic has to be drawn to a certain depth or it just won't form evenly. But this could be one way of making your own telescope mirror. If you make a heavy wheel like this, you want to make sure that no small animals or kids get around it because they can get caught up under it and it can cause some serious injuries. This is one way to make the parabolic shape. We'll be following up on this in the future. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.